Hi and welcome to the ninth of these B.U.T.s of the Bible, the butts of the Bible. And this week we turn to Jonah chapter 2 and verse 6. Jonah and the whale is a favourite children's story. But the reality of the story as we have it in the Old Testament is a little bit different. God has called Jonah to go and preach to the great city of Nineveh. But Jonah runs away from that call that God has upon his life, gets into a boat and goes in the opposite direction. But a storm strikes that boat and the sailors fear that the boat and themselves will be lost. Jonah admits to them that he's the cause of the problem and says if they throw him overboard, well then the problem of the storm will cease. Reluctantly, that's what they do. And indeed, we're told the storm calmed. But in chapter 1 and verse 17, we read of God's supernatural provision to save Jonah. He provides a big fish to swallow Jonah up. So eventually, as we read on in the story, Jonah will fulfill that call that God has upon his life. But here at the beginning of chapter 2, we read the prayer of Jonah from the very belly of the fish. And I believe it's a prayer and a pattern for us for this time of crisis that we're facing. For out of the reality of Jonah's life, he comes to a God who responds to his prayer. He says, God answered me and God heard me. We've been using, haven't we, Zoom during some of our church services. It's been a great tool for us, but occasionally some of us had problems with it. We've not seen what we've wanted to see. We've not been able to hear clearly. Real prayer to God is not like Zoom. It doesn't work sometimes and not at other times. God hears our prayer and God answers those prayers when we come in the reality of the situation we find ourselves in. And call upon him. And it's out of the sense of ruin that Jonah has in his life that God raises him up. Jonah doesn't get everything right in his prayer. His understanding isn't at the fullest. He says, You, speaking to God, hurled me into the deep. Yet we know from chapter one that it's Jonah's disobedience that has led to the problem. He sees the sea swamping him. Maybe we feel a little bit like that in this time of crisis and challenge, that things are getting on top of us. His hope is ebbing away. Over these last weeks, the news has been filled with the Black Lives Matters protests and demonstrations. One of the things that's come through strongly through that is from that community is that the hope is ebbing away. They've hoped that things will change. They will be different the next time. And they haven't. And that lack of hope and that hope ebbing away has led to some of the responses that we've seen and the anger that's been felt. Jonah feels his hope ebbing away. And he also begins to believe that he'll never be able to be in that place of worship again. Perhaps we're beginning to feel, will we ever get back to being in our buildings to worship God again? Hopefully, and I'm sure we will at some time. But in this season that we're facing, Jonah has a sense in his situation that everything is coming around him and suffocating him. He speaks of the seaweed being wrapped around his head. Seems perhaps for some of us, maybe we feel like that. We feel that we're being suffocated by the situation that we find ourselves in. That indeed it is getting into our heads, not just around our heads. He hits rock bottom and he feels like he's imprisoned by his situation. And maybe for some of us in isolation, particularly if you've not been able to get out at all or very limited in, in being able to leave where you've been living. 
maybe you feel too that it's become a little bit like a prison for you but here it comes in the middle of that sense of ruin the end of chapter of, of uh, verse 6 of chapter 2 we hear that great but of the bible break in but you brought my life up from the pit O lord my god for a few years i lived in the welsh valleys just outside a little mining village by the time i lived there all of the pits had shut but a lot of the men in the area had worked as miners i used to ask them about their experience of going and living and working underground and all of them spoke of their relief when they came back up to the surface you may have seen those lift shafts that go down into the ground with the miners in them with their lamps on and their orange gear and sometimes they would go as deep as a mile down it wasn't natural to be working and living in that environment so to come to the surface to rise up must have been such a relief and for here it speaks of much deeper than that a spiritual and a physical resurrection that Jonah is experiencing and in that new life that God has given to Jonah he finds a place thirdly that he rejoices and God renews that calling upon his life when we know the new life that Jesus brings to us it leads to us to a place of rejoicing he remembers that his prayers go up to a God who has come down to meet him at his place of need. And for us, we reflect on our prayers going up to a God who has supremely come down to us in our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who has brought salvation to us. If we look anywhere but to him for our salvation, Jonah's prayer continues we forfeit the grace that could be ours what a terrible place to be in to look to anyone but God for our salvation and to forfeit the grace that he gives to us but Jonah doesn't waste this opportunity he doesn't waste this difficult situation he moves on in his prayer and in his life with God to a place of rejoicing place where he is willing to sacrifice because he recognizes what God has done for him and he renews his vow to God to fulfill that calling upon his life he recognizes at the end of that prayer that salvation comes from the Lord perhaps in this week ahead you want to turn to Jonah chapter 2 and to use that prayer of Jonah as a prayer for you in this time of crisis to pray from the reality and perhaps that sense of ruin that we feel and sometimes experience to be led to a place of rejoicing because our prayers go to a God who responds to us when we pray to him who raises us up from our situations and indeed renews life within us the lord bless you in this week ahead amen